All right, I'm sitting here with my 2016 BMW 340i. And I wanted to post about something because I could not find any information about this. So I figured it might help somebody out. So we're looking at the water pump today. So typically you have a, a weep hole in the water pump that if your water pump goes bad, that would break open and you, you know you, you would know your water pump's going bad. So I had a leak, but it wasn't coming from the weep hole. Mine was actually coming in from this bung. I actually ended up putting it back in there. I don't know if I can get it back out now. You saw it move there a bit. Basically, and I'm not sure if this thing ended up popping out. It was obviously from some kind of pressure increase. Pop this cap out of here. But I'm not sure if it was this was broken or I broke it when I when I was taking it out. I don't know if that would have caused some kind of pressure increase from that breaking on the water pump. Not really sure. But basically I had this giant hole right in the chamber where the water pump sits and it was leaking a tremendous amount of water. <clears throat> and it was strange because it would leak down the block. You can actually see where it's wet. And I had a, had a really hard time trying to figure out where it was coming from. Um, so yeah, I want to give you a PSA on that. Now to get this out, it's not exactly the most fun thing in the world, but it's not that awful either. So first thing I kind of did was loosen up my intake manifold here to kind of give me some clearance on the top. And I did that also to try to get a, uh, a mirror back there to see if I could figure out where it was leaking. And that actually didn't help at all. But normally you have a an alternator here um, this is the AC compressor, which actually sits below the alternator. Uh, alternator comes out with two bolts. One, two, and then just make sure you unplug your, you got one plug back here. Uh, and then you have your actual uh, wire that goes to the battery. Make sure you unplug those. Make sure you undo your battery to your car first, because otherwise you'll be arcing on stuff. That thing wiggles out, um, which I'm not sure you'd be able to get out without taking your intake manifold off. You, you probably can, but it was pretty tight to begin with. Uh, then again, AC compressor. Leave everything connected. Uh, there's no need to break open your AC for this. But again, you got one bolt, two bolts. This thing kind of wiggles out, and that opens you up to this bracket here. Now this bracket, this is the next thing I had questions about. This is your thermostat housing. It's an electronic thermostat that's used for these things. So that, once you kind of break this thing loose, I don't know if you can see it in there, but it just pulls, it pulls right out of there. I guess it, it, it must feel with this, uh, looks like it has a rubber O-ring right here and that's that's what seals right in the right in the back of this housing here so once you get to that point and you got your two accessories off then you got about one one two three four five six that are easy uh seven that's also easy it's just blind you can't really see it in there um but you'll need a few interesting little tools but not the worst job i've done in the world um and just for reference uh this is about 128 dollars but if you break this guy uh, i think you're looking at close to 400 so be careful of that um my car has had stage two plus for quite a while now i have 120 thousand miles on it roughly so uh just uh psa here uh, write me a comment if you got any questions I'll try to get back to them